Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Myers. I am here to show you your art project. I have to get into Zoom to do this and when I start recording, for some reason it just doesn't do what I want it to do, but there it is. So thank you for being patient with Mrs. Myers. All right, boys and girls. So here is what we are going to do today. Um, I have a really fun art project for us. We are going to make a bumblebee. Um, and so I want to get started. There's a lot of pieces you have to cut out today, boys and girls, but I know that you can get that done. So, oh gosh, I just dropped one of my bee parts. Hold on. Okay, so boys and girls, here are the things that you're going to need to cut out. This is the bee's body. You're going to have to cut out on the black paper the bee's um, stripes. You have two hearts that you're going to need to cut out today. You have two white wings. Okay, you also have in this project some yellow strips of paper and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those. So you'll need those. And then remember that bag of goodies that we have. You today are going to find, I can see mine, you're going to take those little eyeballs out. The rest of this we're going to use on Thursday to make our Valentine bags for our Valentine party and we're going to do that live. Okay, so be sure that you don't use any other um, pieces of paper in there today. Okay, so I'm going to take those out really quickly. Now, of course, you can pause Mrs. Myers if you want to do all your cutting now and then come back and follow along or you can watch the whole video. It's totally up to you. Okay. All right. So boys and girls, I have my bee body and I'm going to flip mine. I think, I don't think it matters which direction your bee body is going kind of probably up to you. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue on his stripes. And so I want you to find this one first. It's got that curve on the bottom. That's going to get glued on right down here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my glue and then I'm going to do this and I'm just going to glue that on so it matches. Okay, and then I'm going to take the one, I think the next two are about the same size, so it probably doesn't matter, but I'm going to leave a little yellow in between and I'm going to glue that there. This is my ears needs to, oh no, bring another glue stick home for her house. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing with that last piece. Okay. So put some glue on there. Leave a little space. Okay. Now, if you're a friend that is bothered that these are hanging over, let me show you a trick that you can do. You can turn over your paper and do you see how you can see where the black is? You can just trim that right off, just like that, okay? So you can just trim on both sides if you want to. You don't have to if that doesn't bother you. Some people really like everything to line up. And then when you flip it over, it's all great, okay? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, make the bee's arms and his legs, okay? And that's where these strips of paper are gonna come in. And so you're gonna um, see two that are longer, those are gonna be his legs, and then two that are shorter, those are gonna be his arms. So I'm gonna start with a um, arm. And we're going to do what's called an accordion fold, okay? And an accordion fold is going to make it kind of just be fun and you can like push it in and out like that. So here's how you do that, okay? You're going to fold it down a little bit. See how it's flapping? And then Mrs. Myers likes to flip it over. And then I fold it again. So now I have two little flips. And then I just keep flipping it like that and I keep folding until I get all the way done. <clears throat> now I've been doing this a long time so I can do this pretty quickly but if you um, are just doing this for the first time don't get frustrated it's okay. Now when you open it see it's like an accordion. 
So there's one of his fun little arms, okay? So Mrs. Myers is gonna just fold hers really quickly here off screen. <clears throat> this would be a good time for you to um, start your folding as well while Mrs. Myers is visiting with you. Okay. So I just got to do my legs really quickly. I actually set the two legs on top of each other. So, and then I'm just pressing extra hard. So I'm actually doing two papers at one time. If you wanna do that trick as well, you are welcome to. Okay, now after you have all those folded, we're gonna stick those on next, okay? And so uh, you have to decide where, how do you want, like what direction do you want his arms to be so they could go straight out, <clears throat> they could go up, totally up to you. So Mrs. Myers is going to just put a little bit of glue on this one piece of the accordion and I'm gonna stick it underneath and press it down. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Put a little bit there. Stick that there, oh gosh. These are like one of my favorites. I love these, it makes me feel sad too because they're so cute hanging in our classroom. So I'll miss those this year. So you're probably wondering at this point, can I keep my Valentine bumblebee? Yes, absolutely, hang it up and enjoy it. I did one of my legs, boys and girls, so now I'm doing the longer pieces down here and I know you can't see the whole thing, and I'll show it to you in just a second. <clears throat> and I'm gonna stick that there. Okay, so that's our second step. Here he is, oh, so cute. Okay, <clears throat> now you have a couple of choices of what you are gonna wanna do. Next, let's tackle the, the wings, okay? So we wanted to put the arms on first so we kind of knew where we could put those wings. So you have your two wings, okay? And so it's up to you how you're gonna do that. You can tuck them there, okay? So you decide, I'm gonna put some glue on here. And I am gonna put mine underneath going like that, I think. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. And I'm gonna tuck that one on the other side don't have a lot of space here at my home office. So there's that, okay. And then finally, boys and girls, um, you have two hearts, okay. So you're going to put one heart here, and then you're going to put one heart in one of his arms. So let me show you. So on the one that you put on his body, you are going to write, be mine. So Mrs. Myers is gonna write that. And since we're making a bumblebee, normally we would write the word be as B-E, but since this is an actual B, we're gonna say B-E-E. -E. So I'm gonna write be <clears throat> mine. You can use a dark marker on this if you want to, okay? Um, so that it shows up and then you can glue this. I have hardly like any glue left. So Mrs. Myers is really not gonna use a ton there, okay? Now in one of his arms, you're gonna write on the second part your name. So I'm gonna write Mrs. Myers. You'll write your name. Okay, and then I have to decide where, which arm or hand do I wanna put that in? I think I'm gonna go for this guy. So do you see here, this is the end? I'm gonna put some glue over here. Oh my gosh, no glue left for Mrs. Myers. That's not amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna stick it on his hand. So it's like we're giving out a Valentine. Okay, there he is so far. There's my little guy. Now you're probably worried about his face at this point, right? So that's going to be your next job. Okay, so that's where your little googly eyes are going to come in. So if you only have glue like Mrs. Myers, I did give you those glue bottles. You could put like um, of the Elmer's glue, you could put a tiny, tiny dot on there if you wanted to. Don't try and put the glue on the um, googly eye. Put it in a spot where you want it and then stick it on 
and hold it for a little minute. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And whoops, there's that guy. Okay. And then I'm going to give him a nice big smile. Now, some of you recognize that a bee does have antennas and so lots of friends in class usually say mrs myers where are the antennas so if you want to add antennas you have like this extra scrap paper and so what you can do i'm going to cut a little bit of this oh sorry cut a little bit of this paper off okay and i'm going to make two antennas so i'm going to cut goodness cut one so like that and cut two. Okay, <clears throat> now you can simply glue those on just like that. Or let me show you a trick with your pencil. If you want to make it a curly antenna, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to put this here. I'll show you underneath and you're going to wrap it. Use your fingers to make it tight. Hold it for a second, and then when you take it out, voila, you have curly antennas. So then you would glue that on like that. So you can decide, do you want curly or do you want straight antennas? And then that's the end of your bumblebee. So then go ahead and find a spot for you um, somewhere in your house for your bumblebee to hang it up. Um, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed making this with Mrs. Myers and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye everybody.